Okay, guys, thanks for joining us here in the charts. This is the Market Beast edition. It is your fellow compadre speaking. Quick update on the Dow Jones. Everything appears to be still intact and in line with what we spoke of on our previous video. I'll leave a link in the video right now. And we'll revisit that video in this video just to make sure that we're clear. This is a bullish market and it is perfectly intact. And I'll explain why I say that and give you the critical levels and the worst case scenario if the market moves lower, which I do not think is uh, you know, about to happen, okay? We have one level uh, for now. We do have a critical level for the overall trend. Those are the two levels we're gonna explore in this video. I do have a time frame, uh, potential overhead target, okay? A higher price target as well. So that's what we're gonna do in this video, guys. So let's make it short and sweet. Welcome back, loyal family. If you're new here, we only explore price action. Thanks for sticking around on those subscribers. Let's go ahead and dive right into the charts here. So, so today is December the um, 22nd, 2022, and the current price of the Dow Jones, $32,841.52, fluctuating, slightly negative 1.7% for the day okay and again guys hopefully we are clear this is a bullish video on a slightly down day Let's pull up the original lines hope you guys are doing well all right so on our previous post we had three uh things that we were looking for in order for the bullishness to prevail in this market okay uh, we do have a check mark for number one we have a weekly bullish divergence we also have a check mark for number two the revisit of the previous highs again it had it make more sense if you watch our previous video uh, so what we're doing now is we're just pinning that number three, the 0 0.382 Fibonacci level to hold as support. And that's going to be this yellow line right here. And that's at about $32,550-ish. Okay. Uh, here's a previous video, guys. Uh, we were just kind of showing this level, saying that this is the only level that we're looking at for now. So I'm not going to overwhelm you guys with a million levels. Let's keep it simple, guys, because the market participants are in this market and they are buying this market right now. OK, and that's not my opinion, guys. I look at price every single day and that's the level for now. Now, the overall trend, hopefully we're clear on that. If you back out, take a macroscopic look at everything. As long as the uh, the two levels that I wanted to go over with you guys, the 32550 is the current level that we're waiting confirmation uh, on this fib level at the 0.382 uh, the overall trend for those who want to challenge whether or not the market is in an overall trend if you simply back out erase everything keep it simple and put that one line right there at the previous level of resistance which is right there at about twenty nine thousand and five hundred dollars in the worst case scenario if the market continues to you know move lower which again guys i don't think this market is moving lower guys it's a buying opportunity in coming okay but it just if it just so happens that napoleon macro is wrong which does happen uh, often uh, if it goes all the way down in the worst case scenario guys 29.5 uh will protect the overall up trend okay the market is in an up trend respect the trend out there guys okay now the price target that i think i did not mention on our previous video is 41,000 incoming for the dow jones that's right 41,000 is my price target uh, as far as when, now again, guys, we have to make sure that these critical levels are held. You guys have the first level, 32550. We're going to see how that plays out on weekly candles only. Okay, I'm only focusing on the weekly candles to see if the candles' bodies will continue to maintain support at above 32550. And if you're watching this tomorrow, and it's not aging well that's fine guys we'll go i'll give it i'll get in here and give you guys a quick update on the previous on the step down right all it's doing is going to be st stair stepping down and the next level down would be the point zero one eight okay that, no need to go over that level right now i'm pretty confident that what i'm looking at now uh should hold as support not financial advice uh, but let's let this weekly candle close. We still have about a day and five hours for this active weekly candle to fully develop. OK, so, of course, it's obvious that the sellers are attempting to push the price down. Will they succeed? I don't know. Let's let the price action determine that. My prediction is that the market will likely hold support near this level. OK, um, weekly candles will likely uh, maintain support near this level at least for the next two weeks for this weekly candle and the following weekly candle that's my prediction guys so if i get it wrong just go ahead and leave that information down in the comment section okay 
Um, and one last thing is, okay, so we already went over the price target, 41000 uh, for next year. Again, that is only if, at the worst case scenario, uh, support is maintained above $29,500. Hopefully we are clear on that. I think I said it once, but I just want to make sure I say it again. You know, the critics, they stop in. Okay, I'll timestamp this for them. Uh, so that's clear uh, up into, let's say, maybe six months into next year. Let's see how the market is uh, going to play out. Uh, so then last but not least, the one I, what I wanted to show you guys is uh, the one thing that is kind of making me raise an eyebrow. Let's, let's start fresh. New chart. Okay. The one thing that is making me raise an eyebrow is the very large shadow above this weekly candle's body. Okay. The reason that it makes me raise an eyebrow is because if you're looking at the screen, like I, I automatically see these things, right? Because I look at price so much. Like if you look at this candle here, so basically this candle is somewhat identical. I mean, not 100%, right? To this current candle that recently closed. So what I do with that information is I say, okay, so the the wick above the candle's body represents selling interest. Yes, we go over that a lot, okay? So since that candle popped up over there, then the only thing that I do is I take the candle's body, the close of that candle, and I measure how far did the market uh, the market sellers accelerate the price action to the downside. And all I'm doing is measuring from the close of this candle. And I measure the lowest recorded point, which is right here. So let's go ahead and do that. Pull out our little handy dandy measurement tool. And measure all the way down. Okay, so that's about 14%. Or yeah, let's call it 15% to the downside okay so what we're going to do on this candle right here that has somewhat of an identical um candles a wick above the candle's body where it represents selling yes okay so let's take the close of this candle and measure down at 15 percent so what that tells me is if there's an additional 15 percent drop to the downside or a slow gradual move whichever happens right that means that the selling momentum, is, there's still a rhythm within the selling momentum, so to speak, right? Rhythm meaning that the selling uh, has not slowed down ever since January, the beginning of January 2020. Does that make sense? Follow me on the screen here closely, guys. Uh, so January the 1st, 2022, uh, the market made a low, right? This is a low than the previous low. Up, lower high, down, lower low, lower high. Lower low. That's all we're looking for if you're new, guys. Lower lows and lower highs to identify a downtrend, okay? The overall trend is to the upside, with the exception of 29.5. But the since the beginning of 2022, the sellers have been showing some strength, okay? Follow me. Down, lower low, up. Kind of a double top right there, right? Down, lower low. So now, the sellers are obligated to make a new low. If the sellers fail to make a new low here, that means that the overall trend will continue, okay? Giving you this bullish information on a slightly negative day, okay? So hopefully that's clear and crisp for everyone to follow. And that's pretty much it. Looks like I need to plug in somewhere. All right, so that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys, and I guess I'll give you that measurement. So if I measure from the close of this candle, which is somewhat identical to at least the wick, right? And we measure it down 15%. Uh, we already did it, but I didn't give you the number. That's going to be at approximately uh, $27,831. Now, again, my prediction is not suggesting that's what's going to happen. We got to take this one day or at least week at a time and see if that 32550 uh, level can hold a support here in the short term. If it does not hold, then, of course, we'll get back in here and, again, give you guys the alternative step down on the Fibonacci levels. And that's how we're going to close things out, guys. So if you don't mind doing me a huge favor and if you enjoyed the video and I learned something, go ahead and leave an appropriate thumb below the video if you enjoyed the content and leave a comment so that the YouTube algorithm can promote the video on the channel. Thank you for your continued support. If you guys are new, we also explored the alternative market, just Bitcoin for now. So you can kindly join us here on this interesting journey. And the markets are going down there. Wow. Hopefully this age as well. Uh, it's interesting journey. Uh, we'll send that information out to you momentarily. Welcome in. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you all for your time. Remember to always have a strategy before you enter. Keep that positive energy flowing. We'll talk soon. And bye for now. Guys and gals.